How's it going? Hey, good thing. Do you know how much you wanted for three golf balls and these three clubs? Yep. Uh, I saw there's ping grip. We already bought this stuff, but I saw there's ping grip hiding a, uh, what is it? <laughs> oh, nice. See, that? I, I give them to you guys for like five months. All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are going to a bunch of different thrift stores and pawn shops, always looking for golf clubs. And we're starting things off right. There's two thrift shops in the same parking lot. Proof, there's a Goodwill and a Super Thrift in the same parking lot, so hopefully doubles our odds. Well, let's see what kind of golf clubs we can find today. All right, no golf clubs in the first two stores, but we did find this pink G5 hat, which is pretty cool, but we'll meet you at the next spot. All right, next thrift store. This place is crazy. It's like a picker's paradise. You just like walk around and there might be something in here for us. Treasure hunting. Yeah, treasure hunting. Feels like American picker. Oh, we got some golf clubs right here. We got a uh, ball retriever. We got a uh, Tour Edge Hot Launch 3 Hybrid. Oh, we got a uh, Odyssey White Hot number 7. They actually don't make these anymore and they go for a little bit more. Well, doesn't have a grip, but this became the uh, <laughs> like the uh, Fang, the like one that Luke Donald made famous. Mm -hmm. Basically, every uh, company has a uh, clone of that one. We also got a Ping Answer 7 Iron, one of the only uh, forged uh, Ping clubs for a long time. Got a Project X shaft in there. That's pretty good. Might as well get the uh, Tour Edge one. But this thrift store is hilarious though. The guy who owns it, like no matter what you ask, he always gives like a funny price. And yeah. he's like, that's a good bargain, right? <laughs> we'll go see what he has for us today in terms of the Hopefully prices. A good bargain. Hopefully a bargain. <laughs> got a, look at that. They got a uh, push cart just thrown in with a million bikes. Also, apologize for the music. Got some golf balls down in here. We got a, a green Nike Mojo. What else we got? We got a Pro V1 X. Got a bunch of good stuff down here. Yeah. Pro V1 X. No, I have the mojo. Yeah, mojo, definitely for uh, Ashley's collection of mojos. <laughs> Never ending supply. That and your chippers. <laughs> How's it going? Hey, good thing. Do you know how much you wanted for three golf balls and these three clubs? Yep, I'll do $12 for everything. $12 for everything? We can do that. All right, there you go. All right, thank you, guys. Thank you. Cheers. We'll see you again. Thanks a lot. So, you know where it is, right? Yeah. We'll, we'll figure out what's up. What's up, man? Let's go. Bro! How you doing? What are you doing here? Looking for golf clubs. Yep. That's what we're always doing. Where you guys go? I don't see it in here. No. You been, <laughs> you been to the flea market lately? I didn't go this way today. Yeah, with yeah. The, the fair and everything. I think it's slow. It's a waste of time for me. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. When they have the fair, you gotta leave at 11. Oh, okay. The amount of stuff I bring there, it's like... That's yeah, it's not worth it at all. Three quarters yeah. of the day just getting yeah, exactly. in and out. It's a little bit different car than your... Uh, you yeah, hit the box truck. truck. <laughs> these, these oh, things. nice. See, that I, I give them to you guys for like five bucks a piece. Okay. You guys can make money if you want on them. Cool. Yeah, yeah we'll take them. just like these clubs. Yeah, those are the ones that I use. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're all brand new. Sweet. Seven, so 35 bucks. Now you guys see the price on them, so I'm not yeah. yeah no. we, we buy those all the time. Yeah, exactly. Was somebody uh, stealing in here before? They had like the detectives out or yeah, something. Yeah, somebody, um, I guess, brought something stolen in here and found it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. that happens yeah. all the time, probably. And he just was here like 10 minutes ago, picked it up. Oh, really? Yeah, he paid for the stolen stuff out of pond. You got five. Nice. <laughs> All right, thank you. Good seeing you guys. Have a good one. Sorry, I don't have time. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> have a good one. Oh man, that's hilarious. It's the guy that we usually buy golf clubs from at the flea market, yeah. and we just saw him in there. And he sold us some gloves out the truck. Saved us some trips to Costco. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> those are sweet. Deal. Those are some of the better gloves you could buy for the buddy. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll be to the next spot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next spot, and there are a ton of golf clubs. There's none really worth picking up, but there is a bag that has Ashley uh, fascinated in yes. a bag that we're going to get, but uh, they do have some interesting golf clubs. We got some uh, Alien, looks like a full set of those. The Alien Wedge is the uh, best-selling golf club of all time. They mm -hmm. also got some uh, X14 knockoffs and a uh, Ping G10 knockoff. <laughs> Ping Z10, or <laughs> nice. what is this? Z Force Z10, yeah. and then this bag has Ashley this is absolutely. Crazy. It doesn't take up as much room in your car, and then it's got this crap clever thing. I think this is for golf balls. Well, we get a full demonstration. Yeah, look. That's Infomercial so lady. But wait, <laughs> but there's wait, more. There's more. That's really clever. Yeah, that is super cool. I don't think we need that, but it is very cool. It's yes. almost as cool as uh, what is the push cart caddy thing that we yeah, had? Yeah, the little caddy thing. Yeah, I, I forget what it's called. One. But uh, Club Cadet, yeah, yeah, something like that. But uh, this Odyssey bag is definitely coming home with yeah. us. It's actually a pretty good condition. It's a little bit uh, like sun worn, mm -hmm. but uh, there's tons of stuff in there, and the bags in here are usually only like five bucks. So yeah. they're going to pick that up. I don't know. That bag is definitely really clever. Yes, it is. And the Alien Clubs. <laughs> but I think we're gonna get this Odyssey <laughs> bag definitely. 
Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Very good, thank you. Can I help you find anything? Uh, do you have any golf clubs? I do. Okay. Go right through Christmas and look to your left. <laughs> All right. Well, there's some directions. <laughs> Oh, I got a ton of golf clubs over here. We went right through Christmas, and here they were. Got a uh, Nicholas Air Bear. I think that's the bear. Yeah, it's before the Air Bear. Got some Spaldings. Triple Crown 2. I missed out on Triple Crown 1. What else we got? This looks like a uh, Callaway uh, knockoff. Uh, what do we got? Warrior. XP. Wilson. Oh, these are sweet. Wilson 5000 RGs. Look at look at how small that is. It's like a butter knife. That's yes, like the, the seven iron. Whoa, that's cool. Uh -huh, it's that got the cool. old, uh, I forget what this is called, but the wound uh, shaft on there. Uh -huh. I wasn't expecting that on the uh, TaylorMade. <laughs> <laughs> the TaylorMade uh, head cover. Here's a TaylorMade for you. Oh, we got a stand-up putter. No, please no. <laughs> TaylorMade 200 steel. These stand-up putters go for quite a bit. It's kind of funny. I don't know if these are being sold as a set or no, I don't if either. they're individual. Whoa, there's a dog. The dog's in the Christmas section. <laughs> we'll throw up a cop on these uh, stand-up putters. Oh, it actually has the uh, sticker in there. Oh, nice. I don't think ours have it. Yeah, ours don't have it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a training tool, but it's not my favorite. No, it's a skillet. We really say that. It's a skillet. It you can fry skillet. up an egg on it. We'll but see how much that one's going for. $5. Five, ten. Five, ten. Thank you. Enjoy. Are you, are you from Simsbury or you just have the, uh, the fire no, department thing? No, I just thing? have that here. Oh, okay. <laughs> are you from Simsbury? Uh, I live close to it. My mom actually had a uh, antique booth in Simsbury. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah, that just came in and I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. That's cool. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. are welcome. These are the most well-behaved birds ever. They waited for the light and they are crossing in the crosswalk. All right, we got a ton of clubs in here. This is one of our favorite thrift shops. They always have good stuff. This is actually where we found one of our uh, first uh, square strikes. Yes, we got a uh, King Cobra M Speed offset. You use the, uh, the, the LD. LD. Yeah, yeah, those ones are really good, especially with a lower swing speed or if you slice it. Or if you're just not good at golf. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're getting better. We got a uh, Wishin iron right here. These are a high end uh, component brand. Mm -hmm. Really uh, soft forgings on some of them. What do we got in there? Interflex. They always have weird uh, shafts in there because it's like a component brand, so people mess around a lot with yeah. them. Get some Tommy Armors. Got an Outlaw Wedge. This is an illegal wedge with a super weird face. Oh, it's even more weird than Whoa, I remember. That's crazy. Yeah. Hopefully you don't want your golf ball back yeah. after that. There's like a one golf ball per hole kind of uh, club right there. <laughs> Speaking of that, we got a uh, Pure Spin Wedge right next to it. Oh, what is this? A PowerPoint Chip Up. Ooh. Oh, I don't think Ashley has that one. That can go into her ever-growing chipper, chipper collection. collection. <laughs> I got it that time. Usually I mess up on that uh, the line. We got a Snake Eyes. It was square driver. Last time we found a, a Snake Eyes, it was a square driver. Mm -hmm. It was one of the worst clubs I've ever uh, tried. Everybody yeah. in the comments was like, man, I tried that. That was terrible. Yeah, oh, so nice. You got an old uh, tailor-made uh, rack wedge right here and a uh, Mizuno MX-19 sand wedge. Oh, nice. It's not in the greatest of shape, but definitely a uh, good club. Got some uh, Golfsmith Tour cavities. I got a bunch of good stuff in here. Yeah. Got some Tommy Armour 845 Woods over there as well. <coughs> I think we're uh, gonna get the uh, the rack wedge and the chip up. Yeah, of course. Well, oh, here we go. Got a uh, Adams Ovation 11 wood. The uh, higher lofted uh, woods tend to go for a little bit more money, especially the uh, the ladies ones. But it's got all the uh, NV yeah. shaft in there. It's because they're really easy to hit. Yeah, and I think the clubs in here, if they're not marked, so chipper is five. <laughs> got a chipper's marked off. <laughs> I got driver fairy wood for five dollars, and then everything else is four. Yeah. Sweet. Not bad. Nice. Meet you at the next spot. Oh, they got a hitting cage right over there. Oh, tons of golf. A bunch of different stuff. Seventy nine ninety nine, seventy nine ninety nine for the clubs too. You got a Cobra S two, mm -hmm. Adams A nice twelve. Yeah, it's a pretty nice push cart. Hey, you guys didn't know we're on a YouTube channel, are you? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah. We haven't been in here before. You got a bunch of clothes. I watch you guys all the time. Oh, oh awesome. Nice. Thank you. Northwestern Irons. This bag is pretty sweet. $179.99. Is that Callaway? Yeah, the Callaway. That's cool. I think those Miller Lite uh, ones, I saw a set of uh, Coors Light ones because we found that Coors Light sandwich. Uh huh. Went for a pretty penny. Those, like, weird, things. Yeah, sure it's like hard it. to find them in a full set. Oh, mm -hmm. and they're power builds too. 
This is like one of the one of the goofier things we buy if we did. How much is it? Seventy. Seventy-four ninety-nine. It's the woods too, and it's like I think it's a two-ball knockoff. I think the uh, the Coors Light ones were like a uh, knockoff of the, um, the uh, Ping Eye twos, yeah. and those are older, so maybe those that's why it goes for more. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> that's funny. And some Taylor made three sixties, Ping G two USD Pro Force. Walter Hagen hybrids. My dad actually used those for a long time. Uh -huh. $249. I'm gonna look these up really quick. It'd be yeah. funny if they're actually worth something. Uh-huh. Here you go, you can go gander around with the uh, the old camera. I think these are all individual price. Oh really? Yeah, cool. Right here. You know what the best you can do on this uh, Miller Highlight thing and then that Ping Zing putter? Oh, let's see. You know what's funny about this Miller Highlight thing? I looked this thing up and looked couldn't up and looked up. I couldn't find it. <laughs> about it. I've seen a Coors Light would go for a little bit, but those are way older than these ones. So I have no I idea. I was thinking maybe somebody privately did it. I have no idea. They did a good job. Wonder. It's pretty neat. Yeah, I think there's one more. For the Miller Highlight, the whole bag and everything, I'll 60 bucks on. 60? Cool, and then how, how much do you want for that guy? 499. 499? <laughs> Can't beat that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll get these two, they're kind of, they're too cool to pass up. I saw this ping grip, we already bought this stuff, but I saw this ping grip hiding a, uh, what is it? <laughs> pig G30. Pig G30. How much is that? Bucks. 70 bucks for a Pig G30. I do understand why they were hiding. <laughs> yeah. The flex is that stiff flex. Let's go see what we can do on this. <laughs> Let's see if it's in good condition on the top. That's hilarious. It was just hiding yeah, behind exactly. the uh, surfboards. Someone's not gonna be happy when they're. <laughs> do you know what the best you can do on that guy? Let me see this guy. This one just came out. When someone tried to hide this. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty bucks, you got a deal. All right, folks, another fun day. We ended up getting a bunch of really good stuff. We got a lifetime supply of Kirkland signature gloves. I'm super excited about. It. Yeah, we bought those outside of a pawn shop, out of our buddy's trunk. <laughs> definitely new. <laughs> yeah, definitely new. And we see him all the time at the uh, flea market, mm -hmm. so it was cool to see him out. And then we got a really good deal on the uh, Ping Zing Two putter for five dollars. Yeah. The Ping G Thirty, which is actually the driver that I currently use, yes. so to find it for fifty dollars, and someone was obviously hiding it, yep. and they were trying to like, I don't know what they were trying to do, but I don't know. they hit it and we found it. Yep. <laughs> there you go. But so we got the Odyssey bag, which is super cool. We got the uh, Ping Zing 2 for $5, like I said. We got yeah. the stand-up putter for $5. Which and I was actually really shocked. I actually like this one. I don't like the normal ones, but I think they're bent differently. But I actually made a putt with this one. This one's still in good condition? Yeah. Yeah, the other ones that we have are probably, uh, they use them as a skill to heat it up and got them all bent. <laughs> but uh, the weirdest find of the day, and a day full of weird things. It's yeah. probably those Miller High Life clubs. I have no idea how much they're going to go for. Uh -uh. We list everything for 99 cents and then donate 10% to charity. So they'll go for whatever they go for. Mm -hmm. But we saw the Coors Light ones, like I said, they went for like $1,250. I highly doubt that those will go for that no. much, but... I think someone will really like these. Yeah, they're pretty cool. And I actually hit one of the irons and it was really good, so... <laughs> It works. Oh, if you are in the market for some Miller High Life golf clubs, there you go. We got them. <laughs> but I uh, hope you guys did like this video. If you did, hit like the button, subscribe, and see you next time. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.